Hi guys and welcome back to Call of the Wild, a show dedicated to teaching about the amazing animals we share this earth with. In today's video I'm going to be introducing you to all the invertebrates I keep in my care. So if you are squeamish towards like buggy stuff, then I'd suggest that you click away and check out one of my other videos with my more furry animals in. Um, I will link it somewhere or maybe in the description, I don't know. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, then please keep watching. As always, here's my disclaimer. You might be wondering why I'm wearing gloves. Well, my first two invertebrates I'm going to show you have very sensitive skin and they're very sensitive to the salt content on our skin. So, anyone got a guess? It's giant African land snails, obviously. So I love giant African land snails and I'm going to introduce you the two in my care. This is Tomoto and Tomoto is a giant African land snail with the mutation of pink panther. Say hi Tomoto! Let's see if we can get it to focus on him. Say hi! He's very, very cute. So, Tomoto is obviously a giant African land snail. Giant African land snails in captivity live from around five to seven years, but can live longer if provided with the correct diet and nutrition. <laughs> Tomoto is quite large. Tomoto is eight weeks old. I'm gonna give you some interesting facts about giant African land snails whilst you guys have a look of Tomoto. <laughs> giant African land snails originate from Africa. They are hermaphrodites and can self-fertilize eggs. So when Tomoto reaches adulthood, they will lay their eggs and they will fertilize them themselves. So it's very important that you dispose of eggs correctly. In my opinion, the best way to dispose of eggs is to freeze them. Why I'm talking about disposing of eggs instead of keeping all the eggs is because they lay so many eggs. I cannot remember the exact number, but I will insert it in this clip somewhere <laughs> so that you guys know. Um, giant African land snails are vegetarians, so they eat things like leafy greens. Uh, a favorite of Tomoto's is ba banana. <laughs> so yes, this is Tomoto. If you're wondering where I got Tomoto from, I got him from an eBay seller, but their Facebook page is Snail Snails Raise Your Horns, I think. I will edit that if it's wrong. So if you guys are looking to getting one, uh, Tomoto came incredibly well packaged with a care sheet with information on, which is always really appreciated because you never know who you could be selling to, along with some feeding powder and some calcium to help keep Tomoto nice and healthy. And yes, <laughs> this is Tomoto. Enjoy some close up footage of Tomoto just being absolutely adorable and the seller's information on this page. We have our second giant African land snail. His name is Klaus. Klaus belongs to my partner Jack and he is much, much smaller than Tomoto is. For that reason, I would recommend Tomoto's breeder over Klaus's breeder unless you are looking to, you know grow your baby giant African land snail over a course of period of time but I personally prefer a older specimen as I know they have a higher chance of survival. So you see this wonderful slimy little body part oh gosh that Klaus has that is called a foot so if you ever want to amaze your friends with a cool fact about a snail that is what their body is called it's called a foot. Yes so in size, giant African land snails will grow to around 10 to 12, although there have been recorded 15 centimeter long giant African land snails. With correct care and husbandry, they can reach a quite good size. Um, in captivity, they live for about five to seven years. And I think they make really wonderful pets for the right people. They are nocturnal by nature but can be handled at any time of the day. But make sure not to increase your stress level for your invertebrates as that could mean early passing for them. And obviously we don't want that to happen to cute baby Klaus. So yes, this is Klaus. Here's some cute footage of Klaus being adorable along with their breeder information. Also, do you see this damage on the end of Klaus's shell here? Now that damage is caused due to a calcium deficiency. Now he's in our care, he's receiving cuttlefish as a form of calcium, and hopefully his shell will recover and grow big and strong. Here we have Millie, and as you can guess from her name, she is a millipede. 
Now, I don't know the species of Millie. When I first bought Millie, I bought her from an online Facebook marketplace ad and she was advertised as a giant African millipede. But as you can tell from her size, she is a decent size, but she's nowhere near the size of a giant African millipede. Why am I telling you this? Sorry, I'm just zooming in on her. I'm telling you this as it's important to learn to make sure you don't make the same mistakes <laughs> that I did. Now, Millie is really cool. I would love to give you some information about her species, but although I've researched to high heaven, I have been unable to identify Millie's species. She's very healthy, she's very happy. We keep her on eco-earth and we feed her fresh vegetables and fresh fruits, avoiding things that may cause issues in general for millipedes. But yes, it would not be an invertebrate video if I did not show you my beautiful millipede Millie. Um, if I can, I'll include some footage of her as a baby, which I'll include now. So that was her as a baby, and as you can tell, she's reached a really big size. Now, I don't need to handle her with gloves, but I find the sensation of her tiny legs really unpleasant. So that's why I'm handling her with gloves on. <laughs> it's nothing because she's not mean, she's not going to bite me. Millipedes are actually very, very sweet by nature, and she has never, ever once bit me. Oh, but she did take a poo on me. Lovely. Um, although, interesting facts about millipedes, as you can see there, if it'll focus, she has musked on me, probably because of the bright lights. She's uncomfortable, she doesn't like it. Now, a musk is a foul smelling liquid and it really does smell bad. <laughs> like, I can't explain the smell of musk, but I really don't like it. <laughs> but that is what that liquid is on me there. She is not bleeding, she is not in any pain. She's just been startled, probably due to the loud light, the loud lights, the bright lights. Um, but yes, that is Millie, my unidentified millipede. Um, if any of you invert people could let me know what she is, that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, I've had her for the past four years and she's doing really well. Here we have one of my favourite species of stick insect. Now, from the looks of it, this is quite small, but believe me, they will grow to an impressive five centimetres of size. This is a black beauty stick insect. Now, I have a colony of 12 black beauty stick insects but you can keep one or two together. But be aware that black beauty stick insects do reproduce in pairs, so the female is much larger than the male is. As adults, they will have beautiful red wings. Black beauty stick insects were discovered in Peru in 2005, which is quite late to be discovered. And they are only available in a small area. They are quite popular in the pet trade due to their cartoonish... Uh, I'm trying to focus cartoonish looks, but do be warned, they do have an ability, quite like Millie the Millipede, in producing a foul-smelling liquid which has been <laughs> compared to lemon juice, which should be kept away from your eyes, and in the wild this would protect them from predators, um, as you can see with the curl of her upper body, that is where she would spray it from, and as these are, I think they are two in star, so L2, um, they are quite babies and aren't quite used to handling yet. They live up to a year old and I think they are wonderful little pets. <laughs> we have one of my members of my colony of Remulus Artemis, also known as the Vietnamese stick insect. Now as babies these guys are very very fragile. I have been linking all of my sellers but I will not be recommending the sellers of these guys as many of them came dead and they were poorly packaged, poorly managed and I just don't want to recommend that to you guys. So these guys as you can tell from the Vietnamese part they come from Viet Vietnam and they can grow up to 21 centimeters in size which compared to how tiny they are now is huge. Now these guys are asexual so you will want to be disposing of eggs in the same way I spoke about disposing of the giant African land snail eggs. 
I think these guys are absolutely incredible. This is my first time owning them, but I think the way they walk is truly incredible. They are so funky. <laughs> so much for watching guys i hope you learned something new if you have any suggestions for any new videos please link it in the comment section down below i hope you guys have enjoyed meeting my invertebrates uh, i am looking to get a tarantula in the future so any suggestions of beginner tarantulas would be really great uh, i hope you guys enjoy i've said that like seven times drop a like share with your friends and without further ado i'll see you next time bye